Hey guys, Mike here. So today's cult classic review is 1971's Dirty Harry, starring Clint Eastwood as Harry Callahan or Dirty Harry. In Dirty Harry, a madman who calls himself the Scorpio Killer is terrorizing the city of San Francisco, and Inspector Harry Callahan has been assigned to bring this madman down, and so we have. Dirty Harry. So guys, this is a movie in this series that before reviewing it and watching it today, I had not seen it before. But for a while now, I've wanted to see a Clint Eastwood movie where he was pretty much in his prime. And Dirty Harry was the one that made it onto the poster, so this is the one I'm going to be reviewing. Well, the first thing that I did kind of like about Dirty Harry was that for the first act of the movie, it kind of treats it like a Wild West movie where it's in modern San Francisco. Because right from the get-go, you see that Harry doesn't really care about the little rules that they have in the police. He kind of just does his own thing and he gets results, which is why a lot of people in the force recognize him as a good inspector. However, Harry's morals are really put to the test when he goes after the Scorpio killer. And though other movies have done this whole inner conflict with the rules and regulations better than Dirty Harry, I still think, though it wasn't on the forefront with Dirty Harry, I still thought that it was handled really well. Because you can just see how much it bothers him when these killers go free just because of one little rule wasn't followed. Another thing I quite liked in Dirty Harry was the fact that there's no one reason why Harry is called Dirty Harry. Because throughout the movie, different characters come up with their own reasons why he's called Dirty Harry. One of them says that he hates everyone, one of them says he gets the crap end of the stick, another one says that he just takes all the dirty jobs. And I liked how the movie didn't just say one was more right than the other. Each of them had their own valid points, and I thought that was just a really good thing about his character. Though, I'd say I was quite mixed on the movie as a whole, though. Because when the movie gets going, it is really exciting. But then, when the pacing really slows down, this becomes quite a chore to watch. But I would say there was more good than bad in Day Harry. So guys, would I consider Day Harry a personal cult classic? And would I recommend that you guys should watch it? Honestly, even though I enjoyed this one, I wouldn't put it as a personal favourite of mine. I don't really think it was that good. And I don't think it really had enough going for it that I would put it as a personal favourite. But as for recommending you guys to see it... I'd say, if you're a massive fan of Clint Eastwood and you haven't already seen this one, then by all means watch it. I just wouldn't put my personal seal of approval on this one. Okay guys, that's my cult classic review of Dirty Harry. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Whatever you think, drop it in the comments below. Until next time, I've been Michael. See ya!